straight from from St. Albert heard it's Media League. Jellyfish. Ish. The, the lights. Lights and power must have gone off. But. Ooh. Pretty spooky. And just in time. I'm. I'm from Media League's first annual top ten scariest scenes on television and hosted by me James Nicholas Foots Grrr, I smell failure Metal Sonic you mangy oh anyway in honor of Halloween this year, we're counting down on television scenes so scary, they just might make you, you run and hide into a closet for safety. Yeah. And also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like button. And what's that you have? This time we start down this countdown. Down, since it's all leading up to the number one scariest scene on, on television. And I can't see what that is. Less talk and more work, Jack. Just roll the countdown with a with number ten. Or again, number ten. And with a scene in from Total Drama Island. Sonic watching Gwen face that, that psycho killer or with a chainsaw and a hook sure makes me wish the lights were still on. Metal Sonic? Oh, where is that pestery Re robot? <laughs> oh, pipe down, will you? Sonic, you all will scare me half to death. But anyway, that manly shriek is the perfect segue into this week's Raptor Lodge Lodge Word Game. Today's winner will receive this coupon for one free cupcake from from Sugar Cube Corner. 
recently reopened by, by the Equestrian Health Department. Okay, Octavia, cover your ears. Twilight, right? You've got 40 seconds to get Octavia Melody to say this word. Scare. Scare. And go. We're almost out of time. I'm Twilight. Something wasn't it, Metal? That's the worst one yet. Ah, who asks you anyway? Anyway, let's keep this countdown going with something from Mo and the Three Stooges. Let's watch it again. Almost scared my hat off. You just need some practice, is all. Yeah, maybe you're right, Metal. I do need some practice. This, this, by keeping this countdown going, roll the next clip. That scene sure was scary. Sure doesn't help that help that me lights are still out. But stay tuned for her Amy Rose facing ghosts. SpongeBob Bob scares and and Scooby Doo and and we'll keep finding out what the number one. Scary is ever. Hello and welcome back. Back, folks. Folks to the show. We only got seven scenes to go. Oh. Oh, and we're still figuring out what the number one unscariest scene is ever. And still waiting for me no good. A robotic helper her to get the lights back on. It is so hard to find good help these days. I took the job for the free soda. I knew I should have. We've gotten a, in a cardboard box robot. But anyway, let's keep this countdown going with number seven. Oh, that just made me realize I gotta start working on me Halloween costume. You know, 
what are you going to be this year? Air metal? Santa Claus! Oh, well, that's an interesting... idea. Ho, ho, ho! I don't even know why I include you in anything. But anyway, this idea is a perfect segue into this year's week's Geek's Creative Guy Corner. Because this year on Creative Guy Corner, I want to surprise everybody by turning this pile of clothing into the to my own own red green costume. Now the the stores don't provide the type of costume I have and I in mind, so I have to make my own. So how hard can it be? Well, for starters, there's, I need a plaid shirt. Right. Right. Now you can get one of these. He's in any store. Right. Perfect. Just what I need. Next, I'm going to put this, update this pair of pants with, with a belt and, and, and suspenders. Just give me a minute to install these. go. Now to complete the costume, I'm going to use the hand handyman secret weapon duct tape. Ape. Ape to turn into my, into a silver beard. Beard. It'll take some time to complete. And soon, we'll be ready to rock. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you creative. Well, now that my Halloween costume is all finished, finished, what do you say we keep this count counting down? Now with number six. It's from SpongeBob SquarePants. Who in their right mind would want a bug form? with a clown face for a head. <laughs> Metal, you're just plain and creepy and disgusting. But let's keep this countdown going with with number five. I've with us. And this one's a kind of a t surprise, guys, as we do a scene from, from the movie Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed. Is that 
See, and sure, sends these shivers right down to my legs. So, stay tuned for more Transformers zombies. Horrifying monsters. And the number one. Un. Un. Scariest scene ever. Er. We'll be right back. And we're back. Back, everybody. We only have four more scenes to go. Oh, in this countdown. And we are this close, close to finding out, out what the number one scariest scene ever is. I can almost smell it. Smells like a toilet. Oh, that's your opinion, Metal Sonic. Let's keep this countdown going. Going in with number four. Oh boy, and oh boy, an army of the living dead. Just what I wanted while I'm standing here all alone in the dark. I'm standing right here. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. But anyway, let's keep this countdown going. We're almost at number one, but for now, oh, oh, with number three. Sure, we were planning to do the the spookiest close-ups, but we are too lazy for. Of that one, so we're just gonna go oh, right ahead into number three. Could you imagine having your head stuck in a pumpkin in metal? Nope, it stinks like your breath. Just me, fresh mint breath as in my mouth. So anyway, let's keep this countdown going. And into the end. And with number two. number one. Oh, this is such a great honor. I would like to thank my mother and my father for always supporting me and Ahem, <clears throat> Jim. Oh, right. Right, oh geez, sorry. You're right, Mel. This isn't about me. It's about the number one un scariest scene in television. And, and let's see what it finally is. And that concludes our top three. Top ten scariest scenes in television. All thanks to me, Metal Sonic, and my trusty flashlights. Oh no! Hey Metal! Give me a candle! Here you go! Now, as I was
was saying that. Uh, what's that? Huh? <laughs> Well, that's the end of the top ten and scariest scenes. I'll go put Jim to sleep. Mel, you're in charge.